What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the right side of the map in the blue color playing as a Ra. His name is Kimo. His opponent today in the red color playing as Set. His name is Redo. The map is watering all. It's currently two to zero for this final of the Vubly Champions League. What a time to be alive. Kimo is match point right now. If he wins this game, if he wins the next game, or if he wins the game after that, he will be crowned your Vubly Champion of Season 1. What, what a moment for him. Uh, Redo, on the other hand, he's got a mountain to climb. He's got to win this game. He's got to win the next game and the next one. I complete the reverse sweep here. Um, starting off, he's, he could not take any games off of the Atlantean. Akima's opting to go into his Egyptian. So we're having an Egyptian mirror. We've seen Rido compete against Joe's Egyptian at the highest level. However, Kimo is another beast. If we remember back to the Bill Gregg Open, where we saw Kimo versus Joe, that, that was an Egyptian mirror wall there, and it was an absolute slog fest. Set is the god of choice here for Rido, though. Not opting for the Ra, trying to get some sort of advantage here with the set uh, and you can get very very unlucky on this map however it's looking like the town centers are very good so the middle map um town centers here for redo are fantastic he's going to have access oh he's forgotten his house he's going to have access to um both of those town centers being set uh, and, and then the water is not an option to take them back the other thing was if we want, remember back to um I believe it was Mage Mariano, uh, the finals of the Challengers League, obviously a little bit different level games, but the same concepts apply. Everyone does a kind of play meta. The same concepts apply. This is probably going to turn into a four-town center for Redo to Kimo's two-town center. However, Kimo's economy is going to be huge. He's going to have tech advantage, and he's going to push back and try and get his third-town center back, at which point, if he gets it, chances are he's going to be able to win. What Redo needs to do is either control the four-town centers and not let them get taken, and that way he's going to win because he's just going to win through attrition and have more population and be able to do so. Or... Um, trade that town center, that fourth town center, for some time in order to catch up on the economy. Horus Lake game versus Horus Lake game. You kind of be even in that situation, even against the Ra, who does have a slightly stronger economy with the priest. You're still going to be totally fine. Um, uh, those are your options here. So we'll see how he goes. We do see a really, really forward temple here from Redu. Um, this has got to be some sort of plan from Redu. I'm not sure what it is because this forward temple doesn't really achieve all too much. We're seeing houses coming up now for Redu. Uh, what kind of an all-in is he trying to do? Maybe he didn't see the gods and think this is an Aranos who's going to go for an Anubis priest rush? Not sure. Not sure what uh, what is that situation there for him. Uh, We've got the rhinoceros running around checking their thang. Got the priest here empowering, stealing rhinoceros from the middle of the map. There's so much hunt on this map. And do we see Da? We do see Da. Uh, Redu can literally just walk forward here. How much gold does he have? Does he have enough? He did stuff this up in game number um, game number two there, not having enough gold to throw the temple up or the town center up straight away. Um, and he may have actually done so again. He's only got seven villages. He's only got six villages, and he spent 50 gold here. So he's going to be short on this as well. I, I guess one option that has never really been investigated in this in this mirror is a shifting sands rush on the gold mine. Um, you just rush the tower with a four-minute advance time. You rush the tower with villagers, priests, and, and, um, and pharaoh and animals, and you can possibly check this out. We do see the vision onto the base. The unit's moving forward, and we're checking out, making sure that there's no villagers hunting. Villagers retreating back here. Pharaoh coming in, going to be spotting this wall, and there's going to be no attack coming in for uh, for Redu in this position here. Pharaoh may even actually get picked off. No, he's going to be retreating back. And that's it. There's the wooden wall getting taken down, and such is life. And there's the uh, the, the pharaoh saying, nope. Wadget as well saying, uh, nopey, nope, nope. And this should get taken down. Oh, the Wadget has such little damage to that villager now with that change from Vubly Balance Bash 4.0. Now pharaoh coming back in. There's the classical age for 
Camo. We still have the shifting sands. Both players do can try and shift this back. Uh, the nose of the Sphinx, absolutely huge relic though for um for ooh, the the Pharaoh gets back. It's an absolutely huge relic for the Egyptian player. And are seeing the shifting sands being used here. Going to be bringing this Pharaoh back in and fighting this again. And it's looking like both players down shifting sands there. That's actually very important because it means that Kimo is not going to be able to sneak it back town center attack. That's another thing that sometimes happens in this matchup is instead of going for the middle, you see a rock move around the side and then you see a shifting sands attack onto the back town center of a set player who hasn't defended there. And then it can end up being a bit of a scrappy match. Uh, but that's where one option that, that now Kimo doesn't have for that uh, for that uh, situation. And now the town center is both going to be going up at the same time. Pharaoh able to help with that one. Reader gets his up first or just gets it up first. Do we see any armories up? Still no armory up. I, you got to... You, when you play an Egyptian, you got to just throw that armory up as soon as you hit the classical age because you get it put into some rough positions. We are seeing what looks to be a third town center here for, Kim, for Redu. No surprises here. This is technically meta but with only three villagers putting up a little bit confused about how much gold in the bank he's got enough he just doesn't have the food villagers here are gathering villagers here are gathering so i'm confused as to why he's short on the food but you know, such is life <clears throat> and now the town center is on its way and there's the farms here for chemo so the question is how economic do you want to go uh so it's how many farms do you put up basically uh 12 farms is an 8.30 or should be roughly an 8.30 advance time. Any more than the 12 farms uh, means you're going for a later advance time, but much more economic. And if we check out Kimo's situation here, you can see he's very low on the gold. He's, he has only made 12 farms. He's making more. That's why he's low on the gold. So Kimo is going for a huge economy here. Um, what's this? Five. So five farms over the... Uh, the 8.30 build here. Um, and he's going to be using that to push out uh, much later. And, and Kim, on the other hand, with this three town centers, I I don't know. I don't know about it. I, I think maybe going up a little bit later and doing the delayed advance time, immediate three town centers on this map might have been better. But obviously, if you do it, it does let Kimo go forward and grab a town center. And you're asking for a bunch of crazy stuff. Um, now the uh, town center here, is doing its thing. More houses up for Redo. And this is such a bizarre... Why is he putting his houses here? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. More rhinos getting converted here. Obviously, Redo can just hunt for days. He's got all the middle hunt. He's got all his back hunt as well. Villagers searching over here. Throwing down a market, I guess. Or is he... He's cutting villages because he wants to advance to the next age. We are seeing Horus or Hathor, I should say, on the way 40% before uh, Redo even clicks advance here. And now we see still no advance time. Redo just about to click up. There's the Nephthys. How far behind is he? Just a little bit. No. There's the Nephthys, 10%. 15% to 70% villages up here on this gold mine, up over here on this gazelle. Uh, grabbing this fourth town center soon is, is uh, I think it's generally speaking, it's a mistake. Uh, it's hard to just defend against any sort of two town center all in. But he may go for it. We're actually seeing Kimo move forward and put a mining camp up on this large gold mine. Well, again, he's actually not found his other gold mine on his side of the map. He's only got one, and the other one is way over in the other corner. Uh, obviously, same for um, for Redu here. And now the village is moving forward. Kimo, he's found a spot here to get this Migdol stronghold up. However, it's not defensive at all, and Redu does have a ancestors that he can use. Very, very valid ancestors uh attack there he's got a pickaxe he needs to think about getting husbandry if he gets husbandry here those villages gather much faster he's gonna have a lot more resources there's the nephthys migdol stronghold coming down really loves these defensive migdols i much prefer to put my migdols on my four town center right next to them that way they share town up um defensive fire there and it can be fairly useful now we're seeing cavalry coming out generally speaking the unit comp of a set player is going to be like pure chariots Scorpion Man and something else. There's the Locust. Oh, I hate that Locust. Ah, oh, he picked off one. He picked off two villages with it. It's just not good. I hate it. I hate it. 
Use your locust on a push with siege tower push on on, on a on a raid with your units. This rock has nothing in it. You're just gonna be scouting around. Imagine if you had units on that location, you could have path blocked. But instead, no god power, no heroic god power for chemo. Siege works coming down for redo. He should have he should be f empowering this with his pharaoh and getting it up as soon as he can. Because you can go for a, a, t a timing push here with the ancestors on this location where there's no priests. And Kimo is kind of blatantly going, yeah, I know you're not attacking me. I know. That's fine. I'm not going to make any priests. It's fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Now Redo retreating back here. Now the siege works getting pushed up because he sees how out of position Kimo is. But Kimo's throwing up a second Migdol stronghold. Actually really like this. And the markets are already up. This is vintage Kimo here. Um, markets up nice and early. Lots of lots of farms so he can start the trade route. So technically speaking, even if Kimo, even if Redo is on four town centers here, with those two markets going, that is even villager production so there's no advantage for, for redo in terms of the economy here it's simply just gonna be population advantage uh and when it comes down to again fortified town centers you up to 140 versus 160 it's only 20 20 um population advantage here uh and, and imagine if you go segment as well you can get only 10 population advantage until fortified town centers comes through uh and you also have all of that um stuff there now we see the uh the camera coming in we do see a mark coming up Redo's going to attempt to continue to fix this one up however there are hyena back here which is very very scary now the uh siege towers are starting to get built uh we are seeing a bunch of chariot archers queued up here i i, I would prefer to see more siege towers but you know what can you do uh such is life and pharaoh getting healed back up moving back in are we seeing any sort of Next stage, Fortified Town Centers for Chemo, Medjay and Copper Shields. Lots of gold in the bank for Chemo. Not a lot at all for Redo. He's got no resources really in the bank. The raids are still searching for something. Town Centers here, so they can simply just retreat into it. And one thing you probably should do with the with the Siege Towers is garrison them, but he kind of has a push here. Chemo... He's sitting 115 population, but he's looking like he wants to just get to the next age. He should, he should just go through Horus, but he might choose Osiris um, in, in terms of a, like a bigger push onto this talent center. Osiris might be a little bit better of an option there, but Horus is probably more standard, and, and we still don't see an upgrade. He's getting Bowsaw. Uh, Chemo loves his economic upgrades. However, if you're going Bowsaw, you need to get an immediate Carpenters because Bowsaw is essentially just a really, really expensive husbandry uh, in terms of, like, you get more um, carry capacity so the villagers don't have to walk as much. It doesn't actually get you much more. Um now we, we do see some mercenary cavalry coming in for Kimu. He has the Medjai. Ancestors gets thrown down here. The unit's going to be retreating. And Redo doesn't have any siege towers out. In fact, he's almost lost this siege works. We've got the priest on top of that. But Sukos does manage to pick it off. Chariot archers should go after the ferry here. These mercenary cavalry are so disgusting. So look at this. 50% pierce armor already they take so much and you see every single time a mercenary cavalry dies it means he's paid for himself in terms of damage tanked there's the pharaoh does get picked off redo is strong here he's, he's holding the position decently but oh actually chemo's just spent all his resources chemo's chemo's not as far ahead as as i thought in terms of economy here um he is pushing really really hard and I don't think that he's going to be able to do this. I would have preferred him to see him just go for the, go for the mythic age here, but he, he hasn't done it. And now we've got the camelry, we've got everything else, we've got the chariot archers in the back. That's not a really good answer to the siege towers, though, apart from siege towers and villages. And, and Redo, I mean, he's starting his trade route. We tried to put this market up. The hyena actually killed him, though. A little bit unfortunate. A little bunch of camelry here for Redo being idle. Got to check that idle military banner. I think Redo's been one of those players all season long. He doesn't have his idle military banner turned on, maybe. Not sure. And the Scorpion Man does get picked off. Chariot Archers pulling back. Mercenary Cavalry here yet again tanking all of this damage here. Um, and Redo in an okay position. He's not lost here. Kimo is um, getting a lot of advantages with this push, but he's not 
gained any... Oh, I tell a lie. Siege Tower's going after this town center. It's very close. Imagine if he had Locust here. Just saying. Imagine if he had Locust. Could have killed this town center without losing three Siege Towers. But he does manage to kill the town center. The cavalry coming in. Chariots coming in as well. And now the villagers can just put this town center up. And we're in that position where it's now going to be three town centers versus three town centers. Kimo's economy is going to be stronger than Redu's. It's going to be tough for Rita to hold on here, I think. Especially, look at that trade route. Oh, it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing by Chemo already putting it up. We've got some docks coming up, but these docks... Uh, he's going to try and pick off the trade route with it. That's actually really smart going over there onto that location. The Camelry going to be picking off these chariots. They do get pushed back here. And the chariots should just come sit underneath the Migdal Stronghold. Still no second Migdal Stronghold for Redu means his army is going to train so very, very slow. Even though he's probably got resources in the back, he is at 145 population. There's Kimo's Town Center now. He's going to be at 160 population. He's also got some uh, Rhino he can eat here. Keep pumping out units. We'll see if he tries to get to the next age. No one's going there. We've got Carpenters coming through for Kimo now. Redu's just getting his plow. Such a huge amount of economy right now for Kimo. But he's still pumping these uh, these camelry out, and it's totally fine to do so. Like he can just keep on pushing in these chariot archers. Don't do very well against the cha the, the camelry, especially when they're moving. Siege so tower can sit in the front and take so much damage here. Uh, but it's looking like potentially is chemo. Kimo's just cutting units here. It looks like he's not building any. Oh, he's still making more camelry. He's throwing up some barracks. Is that a is that a mythic edge? I'm saying yes, it is. That's Horus coming in. Redo is actually grabbing cladding here. Arrow ship cladding to help attack this trade route. This is really, really smart from Redo. It's not a lot of population, not a lot of, not, not a lot of resources invested, uh, but this trade route gets very, very distracted um, by those arrow ships. And the, and the cladding as well is gonna help deal extra damage to him. And he's gonna pick off a couple. We do see some docks now coming up for chemo. Uh, and that's a lot of population now he has to spend on the water to defend his trade route. Uh, one thing you probably should do is just drop some towers here. Towers along this uh, along this wall here. Get um, get the the sun dried mud brick. You're totally fine. I love these military buildings here for chemo. It's going to prevent any sort of push here. Do we see a mythic age for redo? We do not see it just yet. Horus, super super close here for um for chemo. And we do see the, uh, the chariot archers coming, going for a snipe on the pharaoh. Will be able to get it if that pharaoh doesn't run away. He does not run away. Villagers under fire as well. And Kimo's actually almost out of gold here. Uh, he does have that gold mine up the top of the map, but he, this is the only gold mine he kind of has. However, the trade route doing quite a lot of stuff here. We do see siege works coming up. More of these camel caravans are falling. War barge coming out. Redu does have an option here. He could, can potentially cut gold. A transport ship come over this way wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm not going to lie. Transport ship wouldn't be a bad idea. Do we see coinage or coinage? See, I know. I know how to speak. Coinage for uh, Redo is coming in to make those camel caravans faster. And now the cabinet's coming through. We've got a couple of cabinets here for Redo as well. He probably actually wins this fight, but he's going to try and bring them underneath the Migdal stronghold. We've got the siege towers coming in, going to be cleaning up these docks here as well. Uh, and Kimo is just looking for some sort of avenue to attack here. And we still don't see... Oh, Kimo, Reader's getting close to clicking up. He's getting fortified town centers, heavy chariots. Um, and we're seeing uh, seeing that be a thing now. Ram and Galley coming out, stacking the wrong thing. More docks coming up. And these, uh, these cabinets are under attack, but uh, that's what it is. And... Doc will go down. Oh, big raid up onto this goal. Onto oh, there's nothing here. It's just a, uh, it's just villagers farming where they should not be farming. Villagers farming outside their walls. Uh, and siege tower gets pulled back. Redo still trying to recoup losses here. Do we see mythic age? We've got Horus coming through. Chemo research researching siege of the titans. Um, the uh, tornado will be enough here. I actually think it wouldn't be a bad idea for Redu to, once he saw that Secret of the Titans, cancel Horus and then re-research it so Chemo doesn't realize that the Mythic Age is coming in. That way he might throw the uh, the, the the tower down or the, the Titan Gate down. Ooh, the village is sneaking through here. Not sure. Chemo is going to see this. The big red dots on his, on his map are just too big and too red. And Chemo... 
He's surely going to spot these villagers. They do make it through, but they're very, very low HP. We're seeing walls coming up. I like the walls. Not going for towers straight away. Walls, we see some cavalry, or mercenary cavalry. Should have gone on the other side. And you want to throw up the long walls first. So the middle wall, long walls, and you can defend against that. We've got some more redo. Jared Archers streaming into this location here, trying to get some sort of uh, value here. There's the Horus for redo. So now he has to hold on to it, kind of just to deny... Um, Kind of just to deny Titan Age here. Uh, and, and while this is all going on, the Siege Towers could kind of go after this town center here. I, I'm pretty, he's probably got architects and masons. He's got masons and out. Yeah, he's got masons. He doesn't have architects. He's got sun dry mud brick. He's got fortified town centers. It's 5,000 HP worth of fortified town center here. And we, we're going to see, we're going to see Ridu going after the main base here. And he's going to be able to click up, tick up, take up some stuff. Another raid coming in onto this location up here for, for Chemo. And there's a wonder for Chemo taking no chances here. That's a lot of resources, though. That potentially, that potentially evens things here. Potentially. I'm not sure. In terms of resources, uh, advantage that, that Chemo has, that's... um. 2,500 resources, or just under, it's a little bit less, um, and 50 favor as well. If we check the post game, actually, we can see how far in front he is, all resource total, uh, 53,000 to 46,000. So, yeah, it, it's, um, he's still 4K in front, basically, in terms of total resources. So, that, that, that wonder doesn't put him too far behind, but he does lose out on all of the uh, stuff that comes with it. Siege Towers take down the uh, the temple here. Going for it. Wants to take this down because it's a 15% bonus building HP. It's kind of a big uh, a big building to kill. But there's no units here to pick up that relic. And I assume Kimo is just going to click on it. Now the uh, catapult here trying to take down the fort fortified town center. Rita is casting f um, Tornado. He doesn't care. He realizes he's got some sort of an advantage here. Um... Came out with a lot of gold, gold in the bank. Down center, man, this is such a tough town center here. But no, he doesn't have that relic anymore, so it should go down. Especially with the catapult help. Down center going down means no, uh, no trade route for uh, for Kimo. The villagers returning here, and they have a a, a tornado. He's going to be using it on this location, trying to get this back. The pharaoh comes in. This town center is going to shoot up so fast. The Heavy Elephant is drawing the Tornado into this location. Kimo does throw it up. Pharaoh not empowering it just yet uh, as it's busy attacking the uh, the Heavy Elephant. But it still goes up so fast regardless. And now there's no Tornadoes left. The Wonder is almost up. And the Town Center is back now for Kimo. Uh, and we don't see... We see more Catapult coming in. We need to see some walls getting put up here to deny the uh, the Mercenary Cavalry or something like that. That's um that's the way that is the way. But we'll see how he goes. We'll see if he can uh can continue here or not. But Kimo is under a lot of pressure. He's really good at defending, and this these catapult will start destroying this fortified town center very very fast for sure. But oh god, they actually don't do that much damage. In fact, if he has, or when he gets that building HP back, look at that 50,000 or 5,000, not 50,000. And there's the wonder there for Chemo. He can now throw down that Titan Gate as well. Um, completely fine if he wants to, because there's no tornado, there's no shifting sands. And there's the Titan Gate coming down now for Chemo. And there's, what can you do from Reader's perspective? What can you do? He has to get in. He has to kill that Pharaoh uh, and, and keep trying to push through on this location. <coughs> but look at these. Look at these. Uh, look at these upgrades. He's got iron shields right now. He's got only bronze mail, but bro uh, only copper mail, I should say. But bronze weapons. So those those mercenary cavalry are just so strong, and Reader not finding his way forward. Uh, maybe barracks with Horus Spearman would pick off those mercenary cavalry fast enough. But it's just not happening. And and Kimo might be nine minutes away from winning this tournament here. Uh, m 
unless you can figure something out, maybe a, another dock transport ship through this way, kill this town center, kill this location nice and fast. Could be an option here. Reader's grabbing his own Titan gate. So maybe he can get that. Well, he can definitely get the Titan out before the Wonder comes out or finishes. But can he get the Titan out before Kimo's Titan gets over to his? And also um, then micro correctly in order to win the Titan fight. <clears throat> and there's the Migdol stronghold going down fairly soon. And that's the Titan gate at 50%. I, I think maybe Kimo's Titan will come out, but we'll be in Redo's base before um, before the Titan even gets out. I think he could make it over there. We do see there's a big issue with uh, with Rudu's trade route right now. He's he's put it over here, which is fine, but he had to change it at some point because the uh, Ballister ships here. Meanwhile, more catapults come. Oh, that's so many resources just throwing away to camp to the mercenary cavalry. I don't know what he's going for. He's still trying to take the town center down, but it's just that's not going to work at all here. There's the Titan Gate for Redu, getting everything on there. Rudy's got a little bit of resource in the bank, so he can uh, he can sit on that and get some more, more um, uh, war elephants out or something like that. More catapult coming out here. Probably wouldn't have been would have been a better idea to just in that push there just made siege towers instead. And we're seeing oh beautiful walls here by Kimo. He's going to look to try and take this town center down behind walls. We still, we don't even have masons for Redo, so that town center, uh, not the strongest at all. And there's the Titan here. And Redo's Titan is at 16% here. Only 16, so we could potentially see. Uh, it depends on what Kimmy wants to do. He can just sit in his base, but we could see this Titan make his way over into Redo's base and kill this Titan gate before anything happens. We'll see if he uh, knows how to speed walk this uh, Titan across the map or not. And there's the uh, oh the the town center is going down. Engineered catapults. This is what you need. These catapults do big damage. Look at that, 25% extra uh, pierce and crush damage. Uh, so that's an extra uh, extra 13 or 25% on the 13 plus 25% on the 63. So it's so much extra damage there. And that's the town center down. Redo decides to tap out. GG. Well played, your winner. For the 2020 Season 1 Vugli Champions League is Kimo. Congratulations to Kimo. Played the playoffs absolutely flawlessly. I don't even know if he dropped a game. I can't remember who he played first, but he may not have dropped a game. 3-0 to zero in the semifinals for sure. 3-0 to zero in the finals here. And he takes first prize. Redo takes second prize. If you didn't catch the third, fourth play, place prize, Moore's fourth, third and... Uh, and Scotty took home fourth. What more can I say apart from if you've enjoyed these games, if you've enjoyed this tournament, you want to see more of this stuff, I do recommend that you hit that follow button on the Twitch and on the YouTube, you hit that subscribe button because your support makes me want to do this. So I appreciate you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be really excited to bring you season two at some point next uh, next year. And we, we wish you the merriest of Christmases and the happiest of New Years from the team. Uh, Krona JJ, Kilty, Blackadder, uh, Hagrid, uh, Raifang, Wiz Sanji, all of the people behind the scenes in this tournament who make it a thing. Let me make sure I haven't missed any names here. Um, I think that's everyone. Yes. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next game the next video 